to yet another Friday Afternoon Physics. Today we'll be exploring some explosions, and these explosions uh, are not the result of a chemical reaction, but rather just a simple phase transition, where liquid is turning to vapor, and the pressure created is, is, is really quite remarkable, and so that's what we're going to be looking at today. Uh, the, first, the first type of explosion we'll be focusing on are something from a very small source, just a little popcorn kernel. We're using an air popper to pop our popcorn. The kernels are blown around in the popper by a current of very hot air. When the moisture in a kernel reaches the boiling point, it quickly vaporizes, causing the kernel to puff out explosively. The hot air stream also ejects the pop kernels out into a bowl. Let's take a look at the popping process at 600 frames per second. The kernels pop only every now and then. Each pop knocks the other kernels around. With so many kernels, it is hard to see what is going on. So, let's just take a look at a few kernels. This time it'll be at 1200 frames per second. At such a f high frame rate, in less than a minute, this experiment generated more than half an hour of high-speed video. We'll just take a look at the highlights. A kernel takes less than a millisecond to pop. Phase transitions can occur somewhere other than an air popper, however. We, here we have a microwave. Um, now we can pop more popcorn in the microwave, or we could, we could try exploding some peeps. For the microwave popcorn, we cut off the top of a bag. We noticed here that it doesn't pop very well. Each pop scatters the other kernels all over the oven. In the microwave, the moisture in the body of the marshmallow peeps causes them to swell up and burst open. In effect, this is a vastly slowed down version of what happens to each kernel of popcorn. Another popular thing to explode in a microwave is an egg. The egg contains water, which is turned into vapor. The internal pressure explodes the egg. We filmed this egg at 300 frames per second. It makes quite a mess. For the next egg, we drilled a small hole in one end. We wondered whether this would allow the pressure to be released without an explosion. What we saw was some material was forced out of the hole, but then the top of the egg exploded anyway. Unfortunately, we turned off the camera at this point. In fact, the bottom part of the egg exploded just a few moments later. If you try this yourself, watch out. Well, phase transistors can also have happen right at room temperature, especially when you're dealing with liquid nitrogen. 
uh, liquid nitrogen boils at about 200 degrees below zero. So, uh, if, I, if I pour some out here, you'll see it turns to gas right here in a, in a room, and it, right here at room temperature. <laughs> we poured a little liquid nitrogen into a plastic coke bottle. Then we put the lid on tightly and hurried away to a safe distance. After several minutes of boiling, the nitrogen gas pressure inside the bottle caused it to blow up. Now, here is the same explosion at 300 frames per second. There can be quite a lot of energy in this sort of explosion, and so safety is a very serious concern. Here is an example of what not to do. This two liter bottle went a long time without exploding, so we thought it was a dud. We ended up getting a little careless. Do not try this at home. Correct.